Hello and welcome, my name is Robin and you're watching a Robin Reads. Today I want to start with a reading vlog for the cozy reading night that is happening tonight. And I'm doing it a bit differently than the times uh, Lauren from Lauren and the Books uh, set out for this cozy reading night. Because um, she made it special this, this time in the way that it's not three hours but uh, five hours. So that's pretty long. Uh, for her it's like five or six to eleven. Uh, and for me that would be like seven to twelve. So that's way too late for me. So I thought I would just do five hours today on Friday. Um, just when I have the time. And uh, therefore I'm starting this at 3 p.m. P.m. Right? Yeah. I think so. <laughs> Bit difficult with those time um, uh, thingies. But uh, yeah, I'm sitting here on my bed. As you can see, uh, this is my uh, reading spot, my chill out spot. There is my bookshelf. And uh, yeah, I'm just about to start reading. I have here my... Uh, snacks as you can see, my cup of tea and a little bit of rhubarb to eat uh, Very nice, it's from my grandparents garden So really curious to see uh, how it tastes So uh, then the three books I'm going to focus on these five hours um, One of them is for another video that I'm doing You will be seeing that video uh, later uh, but that book that I'm going to read for that video is um, this one, AI uh, Love You. But yeah, I'm reading that this for that, so you won't be seeing that this uh, one in this vlog, but in my other vlog challenge video. Then the two books I'm mainly focusing on is, the first one is this one. This is my uh, Kobo e-reader, and uh, this is the book. It's called Kieft, it's by... Uh, Michel van Egmond. Um, this is about Wim Kieft. He is a uh, pretty well-known um, soccer football player in the Netherlands. And um, uh, he is on a very, yeah, sort of, fun, sort of um, well-known TV show that is uh, called uh, Football Insight. And I really like him. Uh, I really liked him on there. So I really want to know more about him. And also this week is the A year -thon, uh, week, sort of readathon that happens every month. And I'm participating this week. Um, and the theme was mental health and addiction. So uh, therefore I chose this book because Wim Kieft uh, is someone who has dealt with addiction for many, many years. And also... Um, with that mental health struggle so I thought this would be sort of a nice fit with that theme and I'm really enjoying this so far I'm third percent into this and um, yeah it's just really hard to read because that addiction side I don't really know anything about because I can't really can't relate um, but yeah it's really interesting to read about and yeah, just a very important book, I think. Just to know how it is to struggle with these things. Because um, he um, has lost all his money and he needs to pay off debts. And therefore he has like 15 euros per day to live with, live off. So yeah, that's really hard. And uh, how much money he made with soccer, you, you're like, whoa, that's a lot of money that he just, yeah, sort of um, lost because of his addiction. Uh, so that's pretty hard to read about, but um, nonetheless, very important read. So um, my goal for this one, I'm 30% in. I want to uh, have 40 pages left, I think, of the book. So I need to read like 100 pages, which is a lot, but... I know, I, I will see how far I get to it. Uh, at least, I think, 50%. So, uh, that is the second book I'm going to read. Then the last book is the one that... 
you probably um, am sort of sick of me talking about it, but I am reading it, so that's good. And that is um, A Dance with Dragons by George R. R. Martin. This is the fifth book in the Song of Ice and Fire series. And um, as I mentioned in a lot of videos, um, I started reading this in January, actually on my birthday, on the 20th of January. Uh, and then after, I don't know how many, uh, how much time, but then I put it down and um, now it's May and I'm finally uh, picking it up again. Uh, I was on page 160 when I put it down and I'm, yeah, I've made um, a lot of progress, I think, because it's very slow going with these books, uh, but I'm on page 321. So uh, I've made a good amount of progress, I think, uh, but this is just very slow going for me. I really re read this uh, very, very slowly. So um, yeah, I just need to take some time with this. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it because I can't really tell you anything about it. Well, I could tell you something about the first book. So um, the first book is A Game of Thrones. And this is about uh, a land called Westeros. And Westeros, we have this Iron Throne. And the Iron Throne uh, is mainly the, the place of the king or the queen. And everyone in Westeros wants the Iron Throne. Because then you rule all of the land. And we have a lot of families that want to get the throne. And so it's a lot of political intrigue, a lot of drama, but also a lot of action and fighting. And it's just really good and really, really well written. Um, you have to love uh, the change of perspectives because that is what this book is about. And mainly the fourth and this book, the fifth one, uh, the fourth one was half of the characters and this one is the other half of the characters which is really annoying but yeah he made that decision um really curious to see if he is finishing the sixth book because i sort of saw on the internet that he is writing again because of what's going on so that's um yeah some news but i don't know if it's real or whatever so but yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, it's just awesome again. Um, and yeah, I'm going to read this as well. What I'm going to do, I'm first going to start with um, this one. Because this one is pretty short. It's a manga, so I can read this really quickly. So I can get this out of the way. And then I'm going to focus on this one, I think, for a while. And... Um, read this uh, until dinner because I said it's like three o'clock and we eat uh, half past five so um, I'm just gonna read that until then and then after dinner I'm going to read this one so that those are the plans for uh, today tonight and yeah, I hope you're doing well. Let me know down in the comments if you participate in these cozy reading nights. I will link um, yeah some information down below if you want to participate in uh, yeah just two weeks from now there is another one uh, with another theme. So maybe if you want to participate you can do that. Um, yeah, I will see you in a bit with my update for the. No, not the manga because that's another video, but for like the other books. So, see you later.
Hello, a quick little update. I've been reading for about an hour and I just want to update you guys on how it's going with the cozy reading night. I've been reading AI Love You uh, by Ken Akamatsu and you will hear more of my thoughts in my challenge video because I'm doing this one for that but I'm about halfway through and uh, yeah I'm not going to continue this today uh, not super enjoying it so um, I'm just going to continue with the other books uh, I'm reading for this readathon um, I have about an hour left before um, we have dinner, so I think I will read some of uh, this book, Gift, um, so I can just break it up sort of. So I'm going to read this one now and then probably after dinner, uh, A Dance with Dragons. Uh, so yeah, that's my update. Um, so talk to you later. I just read about uh, 20 pages of this book. I'm still really liking it and yeah, uh, just reading the part about when he um, played football in Italy. It was pretty hard for him and yeah, apparently the fans of Pisa were like pretty bad. They waited for the soccer players to come out of the stadium uh, when they uh, lost the match and stuff and it was pretty tough there and he couldn't go to his house because um, the supporters were just waiting for them and stuff so that was pretty uh, hard to read about um, really sad that supporters can be like that um, yeah still enjoying this and now I'm just having a cup of tea with my awesome mug and um, right now I'm just gonna walk with my dog probably make a clip of that and yeah then we have dinner and after that I'm going to read again and right now I am uh, chilling with my little cat um, she's awesome <laughs> and uh, yeah that's really nice so just gonna finish up my tea and then um, walk with the dog.
Uh, so I'm doing a bit of another angle so it <laughs> won't get um, too boring sort of. Um, but yeah, I just want to update. Um, just had dinner. Before that we, uh, my brother and I, uh, walked with our dog Dobby. And now I'm ready to read again. Um, feeling a bit meh. Really uh, shaky also, but yeah, I don't know. But I'm just um, gonna take it easy and read for a bit. Um, not super in the mood for this one, so I think I'm just going to read A Dance with Dragons. Um, maybe even the whole evening, it uh, a little bit depends on how I'm feeling and uh, what I'm feeling to read because uh, this month is. It is um, mood reading month, so I'm just gonna take advantage of that and uh, mood read. So I'm on page 321, as I said, and I'm beginning with Daenerys. So um, yeah, I will update you later on uh, how it's going and what I'm thinking. I've read for about an hour in A Dance with Dragons. Um, I've read about 30 pages. And um, yeah, I said I was enjoying this. Um, but uh, the two chapters I read were sort of boring. The first one, as I said, is about Daenerys. And... Um, she still isn't in Westeros. Um, is that a spoiler? Sorry if that's a spoiler. But uh, she still isn't there. And she's just... Yeah. Um, yeah. Politics in the other country. I don't, don't even know what it's called. But um, yeah. It was just a bit boring. Uh, don't really know what she's doing. And yeah. That was just boring. And then we had a chapter... Um, it was called, let me see, The Lost Lord. And that was about a totally different character. Um, yeah, which was also just annoying. I really don't like when uh, George R. R. Martin does this. And uh, the next chapter is um, The Wind Blown, as you can see. And that is also uh, probably then a chapter about... I don't know who, and um, yeah, just really not liking that. Um, so at the moment, I'm not really not feeling this. And 
as I mentioned, and I'm not feeling this either. And uh, the manga I was reading uh, is really not nice, so uh, I'm a bit in a dilemma. Um, Chrome. Mm, sorry, I just e ate some crackers. And they are a bit in my mouth. <laughs> but so, yeah, I'm just really torn between what I'm going to read. Um, yeah. Am I going to read something for that other video I was making? But I don't really like that because I already started one of them. And that's for the other video. So um, right now I have uh, two hours left for this video. So really want to excuse me, uh, read something yeah, for this. And um, yeah, I, I can show you my um, TBR. Uh, let's just browse together uh, and see what I'm in the mood for and what I'm going to read. So this is the drawer of my bed and I put um, all the books I want to read this month in here. It's a bit of a mess, sorry. Um, because yeah, I just had to put stuff in here for uh, when people are going to be in her house and... Uh, yeah, watch our house and stuff. Uh, but yeah, I have some options. This one is fantasy, so I'm not going to read this. This, uh, yeah, it's more of historical fiction. Um, but yeah, it's very big, so, uh, and sort of fantasy, so I'm not going to read that. Um, this I read already. Um, so I have Terra Road, very big one. Might be in the mood for that one. Um, the Jungle Books uh, is a classic, so nah, not really. Um, this I'm sort of reading. Uh, yeah, this is a romance. I read one of hers. Um, yeah, also this month, sort of, and not really enjoyed that. Uh, and this main character is also called Nick, so that's a bit weird. <laughs> that was in the other book as well. Um, I'm sort of in the mood for this one, but again, it's also really big. And that one is too, but let's put it up there. Uh, then this one, uh, I, I am in the mood for, but I don't know. Tough, tough, tough. Um... I don't know. I don't know. Let's put it for here right now. Uh, not really in the mood for this. Um, yeah, this is another fancy uh, brick. So I'm not going to read this. Um, this is a biography. And I'm already reading a biography. So I'm not going to read that. Um, yeah. That's it. So I have sort of two options here that I'm sort of in the mood for. Um, Fast Friends and Terra Road. But again, they're super big. Oh man, the struggles. Um, okay, that's... I know if you read with me, but that, that sounds just really boring. And, um, yeah, how many pages is this? Over 600, far over 600. Um, uh, don't even know if I want to read this. <laughs> then this one, um, yeah, also 600 pages. And, yeah... I know, I really enjoyed reading Jill Mansell, but I haven't read her in a while, but let's read this bit. Okay, that also just really doesn't sound interesting. <laughs> Help. Um, let's go to my bookshelf then. <sighs> I really don't know what I'm in the mood for, actually. Um, it's really hard. Um, I really don't know. Maybe, maybe this one, but that this one is for my other video, so. 
uh, don't want to do that. Then over here, it's just so hard. Why is it so hard? Then over here, we've got some other books. <sighs> hmm. You guys can't tell me what to read, so that's also a bit uh, difficult. Um, maybe Nikki French. Maybe Agatha Christie. I really don't know what I'm in the mood for, so that's also a bit difficult. Maybe this one. Um, this is my reading spot. It looks like a mess. Uh, but maybe this one. This one is... Yeah, it's again... A lot. But I know this is... Yeah, sort of just... Um, let me put it here. Nice view. Um, this is more of a funny book, I think. So let us read the back. Hmm. Sounds interesting, but I really don't know if I'm in the mood for this. Um, as you might have guessed, I'm really not a mood reader. So this is really just hard for me. Um, let me see. Just let me read a couple of lines. As I said, I'm really, really bad at mood reading. Um... We really don't know what to do, actually. Um, what am I in the mood for? How do you guys do this? I, I really don't... I really don't know how to do this. I mean... I just read what I have to, sort of, on, have to. And that's it. Um, so, yeah. Let me know in the comments how you, do, how you guys do this. Uh, how you mood read. Because I know, uh, like... Everyone is a mood reader, except for me. I just get, like, there are so many books and I really don't know what I'm in the mood for. Uh, and the books I'm currently reading aren't my mood or something. So, it's just really hard. Um, shall I try, like, a, try a chapter tag or something? I might do that. Let's, let's just do that. I will grab a couple of books, just different kind of books and just read, like, a chapter or something or like a page and then we will see so i'm sitting here cross-legged as you can see um reading this book and um i just said that i thought it was nice but it's it's again i um read rebuilding coventry by this author and just really liked it because it was just very silly and very funny and yeah this book already starts like that it's very easy to read, which I am I really need right now. And um, I actually forgot to mention this one on my TBR, I, I think. And But it is. It is on my TBR. I have had this one for quite some time. And um, yeah, I just really want to read this because I love that other book uh, by her. Um, so, you know, I think I might just read this. And uh, that's it. Uh, so, this is about Eva and um, Eva. Eva is a mother of um, twins. The, they are 17 and they, the twins moved out. And um, she gets a chance and uh, goes to bed for uh, a year. Um, and yeah, I think already the craziest sort of starting. Um, she just explained about her fashion that she always wears black and um, that her husband hasn't seen her with lipstick on for years or something and she always buys um, <clears throat> Chanel lipstick and she always uh, throws away the receipt, receipt because uh, her husband uh, probably doesn't understand why she buys such um, expensive stuff but yeah it just it's just a really funny. So I'm just going to read this one and um, keep you updated on it. I have like one and a half hours left of this readathon. 
And yeah, that's it. Um, I will update you later. Hello again. Um, I'm talking a bit more quietly because my mother is uh, sleeping already. Um, it's about nine in the evening. I'm very tired, so I think I'm just gonna go to bed. I want to read until 9.30, but I'm just too tired and um, I will just don't do that. Um, I just want to do a little recap, but maybe it's a better idea to do that tomorrow when I can talk a bit more louder. So um, yeah, I will just do that. The only thing I will say is that I read um, quite a bit of uh, the woman who went to bed for a year. It was pretty nice, so uh, yeah, I'll just update you tomorrow with everything and just wrap up this vlog. So, see you tomorrow. Hello, it's time to wrap up this vlog. So, um, it's the next day, it's the next morning. I... Um, yeah, as you saw, I struggled a bit last night to uh, find what I was going to read, um, but I managed it. And now I just want to talk about what I read for the cozy reading night and um, yeah, just wrap up this vlog. So the first thing I started with was this manga called AI Love You by Ken Akamatsu. I read... Um, about 120 pages of this um, and you will hear more about this in my other video that is going up next week so I'm not going to talk about this <laughs> but uh, yeah 120 pages pretty good and then I uh, read um, some pages uh, from this book Kieft by, by Michel van Egmond I read um, about 8% um, before dinner and then when I went to bed I always read before I go to sleep so then I read to um, I was on page I was on 30% then 38 and um, when I went to sleep I managed to read uh, until 53% and my goal was to read um, till 50% so that's pretty good um, still liking this book um, uh, I must say I don't really enjoy the soccer football part of it uh, those stories are a bit meh for me but I really enjoy enjoy reading about his experience with addiction and um, yeah that is really interesting to read about and how that goes with um, how you do those things so uh, pretty good book then I read about um, 30 pages in A Dance with Dragons as I mentioned in my last update I wasn't really liking this because as George R. R. Martin uh, does sometimes he switches to other characters that um, don't really uh, really are part of the story and uh, that's really annoying so therefore I didn't read a lot in this which is unfortunate because you know and then I really struggled to um, know what to read next uh, as you saw in my clip um, <laughs> I think it was a pretty long clip um, but uh, yeah, I decided to read The Woman Who Went to Bed for a Year by Sue Townsend. And I'm on page 55, so that's pretty good. I'm really uh, happy with that. Um, that's a good amount. And I really am liking this so far. Um, you're not only seeing the perspective of this woman who went to bed for a year, but also from her uh, daughter, which is really interesting because... Um, her children are twins, uh, a boy and a girl, and they are in college, they are 17. And uh, they're both a bit, yeah, sort of socially awkward, uh, which I can relate to. So that's fun to read about. And yeah, really enjoying this. It's really funny. Uh, and it's, as I said, well, as you might guess, it's a quick read because I read 55 pages. So overall, how many pages did I read? I think... 
uh, well, 250 or something, which is, whoa, a lot. Um, including manga, of course, which is, um, of course, quicker. But still, that's a really, really good reading um, evening. I'm really glad with that. I read about five hours, not sure. Um, if it was the total five hours or more or whatever, I didn't set a counter um, timer, I mean, but really happy with that. Uh, let me know down below if you participate in this readathon, if you like it. Uh, and yeah, I hope to see you soon in another video. And uh, please give this a thumbs up, comment and subscribe and I will see you later.